What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Busters. In this episode, we are going to go to the moon once again. We've been doing that a lot lately, haven't we? But we're going to be going to the moon again. Uh, a lot of you guys were asking after you saw the moon bridge, can we do the same thing with connectors? And the reason we would want to do that is if we wanted to A, try to bring oxygen all the way to the moon, or B, try and bring materials from Earth to the moon very easily without needing a ship. So uh, I actually don't know what the answer to this is. Will one continuous grid go all the way to the top with just connectors? I don't know. Um, and second of all, will will it even work from that distance? Because that's got to be the longest connector uh, possible if it does work. So uh, we, we're starting off with the, the thing already aimed. Uh, we did this in the bridge episode. If you want to go check that out to see how we aimed this. Uh, essentially, we just used the same gyroscope, but I wanted to cut out a lot of that initial uh, stuff so I didn't have to show that in the time. So we're going to do it at first. We are going to build ourselves an oxygen generating area because we have to extract the oxygen from the earth uh, just so that we can get it to the moon. So let's go ahead and uh, build that. It's not gonna be that that difficult. Just kind of a small platform that's gonna have a lot of uh, oxygen tanks, pretty much. Let's just go out here. When I say small platform, well, <laughs> it's not that small. Okay, oxygen tanks now. We can get a couple of these things right here. We're just gonna just just lay them out everywhere. Right, probably right here. Yeah, let's just go down the line, all the way down. And maybe make a, a stack of three or four. A lot of oxygen. More oxygen than you'd ever need. But you know what? Let, let's pretend that's all the oxygen on Earth. Okay, so now we need to extract it. So let's add some uh, some vents. We're just going to bring these all along. So each one has its own vent. Except for that one. We're going we're gonna to have that one be the start of the connector. Uh, so what we'll do here is we'll do this. Oh, I should probably... Should I... Yeah, I should. I guess I should uh, connect them all up. So let's go ahead and do that with these things on the back to connect up all of the oxygen tanks. We actually don't need this row. That was a mistake. Boop. There we go. Uh, okay, so now we should have a row of, and I can actually put this back on, a row of oxygen generating uh, tanks, which is good. This is what we're going to be, be needing to start this off. Uh, perfect. Okay, next what I want to do is I want to make a row of refineries because the other challenge that we're going to be doing here is if this one doesn't work or even if it does work, we're going to be seeing if we can mine a material on the moon, have it refine on Earth, and then assemble it into a component back on the moon. How crazy is that? So we're just going to expand this a little bit, maybe not that much, just a couple of, just a couple of blocks here and we're going to add a refinery. Uh, okay, so a bunch of refineries. That's probably enough. We don't really need that many, just enough to say that we have them. I guess and let's connect them all up and this is going to be our home base there we go that's our home base done now that we have our oxygen area and we have our uh, our refiner area let's turn it on real quick let's use a battery to turn this on maybe a couple batteries are going to be needed to run all this let's just add like a couple of them here and there and we're going to set all of these vents to decompress which is going to make them take the air from the earth and add them to the tank so all the air vents uh this is, is this that's not all of them Oh, they're up here. Okay. So air vent one all the way to air vent last. Uh, we're going to say depressurize. And now you'll hear the massive sound of depressurization. It's like a big bassy sound. Ooh, 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 ooh. Real quick, let's run this all the way to the other side here to connect up with that one. And then we'll run this one over here to connect with the start of our ship thing. And... There we go. That's going to be the start of it. And we're just going to go straight up from here pretty much until we reach the moon. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I know it should be possible, theoretically, since we did do it with a bridge uh, prior to this. So let's get going. Okay, here we go. I think I'm just going <laughs> to, I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to control all the way. Although what I should really do is, can I go more than 100? Dang it. No, I can't go more than 100. That's going to cause problems uh, since we can't really go that far with it. I could do the same thing we did for the bridge and do little segments. That might not be a bad idea. That that will definitely be faster than doing it like this. Now another problem we might run into is that these are actually functional blocks. They have more properties to them. They can allow material to go from point A to point B. Uh, whereas the normal blocks we were using for the bridge are not really functional. They just have collision. That's it. So we might run into some problems with these blocks uh, taking up more space than the other ones uh, memory wise. So that'll be interesting to see. <laughs> okay, we've got our little segment. We're actually carrying it with us. How dizzying is that? <laughs> Very. Let's go and place it on top of this. Actually, let's move it a little forward real quick. This is our first segment place, and this is actually about a kilometer tall. 
you can see the little segment pieces that I put in to make it uh, to make it higher. And then we take it higher. We gonna get copyright strike today. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Oh, please tell me you're not actually. Okay, for a second it looked like it was actually tilting like the uh, the what you call it? The uh, the pistons. If you remember that, it looked like it was tilting like they were. And if that starts happening, then that is problems. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it so it falls over. Okay, let's just keep doing this. We gotta work down through Electric Avenue, and then we take it higher. We gonna climb all the way to the moon, and then we gonna go higher. Out in the streets. All right, you guys remember how we did the thing last time where we made it? Uh, we made it take less and less and less uh, segments. What we did is essentially we just copied this and flipped it upside down and placed it on top. That's exactly what we're going to do here. Uh, even though it comes with a lot of stuff on top of it already, it should work. So flip and I think we need to move it a little farther away from us to place it. Okay. And place. Now it's going to be placing a lot of oxygen and uh, refineries and stuff. But we can actually go up there and remove that stuff, which is what we're going to do. And if we keep doing this, it's going to take less and less Fewer and fewer uh, segments to get to the moon. It's called an uh, a, uh, exponential. That's what it's called. An exponential um, amount of speed, I guess. How? So yeah, all we do is we just remove this stuff right here. Any of this stuff. We just remove this. Make sure that the connection is severed. And then what we can do is we can go into our admin stuff. And we can just remove the grid. That is small, which would be probably not that one. Probably that one, right? PCU block count 600. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so remove that. And Bob's your uncle, right there. <laughs> There's an asteroid. I watched another YouTuber. I don't know if you guys watched. Uh, it, okay, so <laughs> I felt really bad because at the same time I, I uploaded the um, the Moon Bridge one, another YouTuber, uh, Jack RPG, uploaded. A very similar thing and apparently the same commenter had actually told us to do the idea so we had pretty much just started on the idea like at the same time so yeah a lot of people were saying that he stole my idea but that's not actually the case because apparently his upload was only like three hours after mine and uh, it takes a lot longer than three hours to record and edit a video so I, I can tell you for sure this this boy already had that idea before uh, before he may have potentially seen what I did so stop harassing him, <laughs> please. Hey guys, Andrew from the future here, and I do want to point this out since we're already talking about it. Even if another YouTuber did take my idea based solely on watching my video, so they watched my video and decide to do the idea that I did uh, because it worked for me. Even if they did that, that's totally fine. Don't go saying that they stole my idea. I'm totally okay with it. If someone else decides to make a space elevator that looks exactly like mine, or they decide to, what's this, the conveyor episode, if they decide to make a conveyor to the moon, I'm totally okay with it. The whole premise of this series is that it's kind of a scientific series where we, we, we use science to try and find out what's going to work in Space Engineers. And if other people want to replicate that on their channel, that's totally fine. So the next time someone uploads something that might be a little bit similar to what I uploaded, even if it's close to after I uploaded it, even if they stole the idea, I'm totally okay with it. Don't worry. It's all good. All right, back to building a conveyor to the moon. 40, 44,000 kilometers up. 44 kilometers up. <laughs> you guys are always yelling at me because I, I get those confused. I'm always like, yeah, 44,000 kilometers. And you're like, what? what? That's so far. No, yeah, that is that's extremely far. That's a lot of Europas. Someone made that joke a couple of days ago and it brought back the memories. Ah! <laughs> that's the uh, risk of flying too fast. All right, remember, we're at 44,000 kilometers, almost 45. This is where problems started happening last time. So if we get past this one, we might be home free, but I'm not expecting we're going to get past it lightly. It's it's probably not going to work. So prepare yourself for that. I have prepared myself, and here we go. Click. <laughs> actually, wait a second. It's not actually... Last time it would freeze up completely, but it didn't freeze up... Com I mean, I am frozen right now. Don't get me. Okay, the sound stopped. I think we might have done it. I think we might have. Uh, I think we might have killed it again. Well, that's a problem. 
Okay, we're back. Aha! Hear me out now, this idea is gonna sound crazy. Remember how last time we had to have a buffer, uh, or we had to have a, a second grid? So we had our first grid, and then we had to like split the grid, and then have a second grid going all the way back up, otherwise it wouldn't work? Well, we're basically gonna do that, again. But, I have a plan for how to move the oxygen from one grid to another. Okay, right there. Let me make sure there's enough room in between them for my uh, my genius plan. Okay, so you're there. You're your own grid. You guys are roughly in the same area, so that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw a connector on top of these. Uh, connector, where's that? G, con, and it's right here. We're going to throw a connector on top of this one, and another connector on top of this one. And I have... A little bit of glitch there. I have a little plan for what we're going to use to connect these. Now we can't connect them to each other, unfortunately, and a lot of you are probably going to suggest that in the comments, but the reason we can't is because if we turn this into a ship so that it can move and connect to that, we are going to, uh, it, it's not going to, it's not going to work because ships or stations rather, uh, have much better ability to handle big things than ships do. So yeah, if we turn that into ship, bad things happen. So we cannot do that. Unfortunately, but I have a plan. Don't worry. Let me mark this as the middle so I know where it is. The middle. We're gonna call this middle. Mid. Mid rush. Okay. Let's continue with our gigantic thing going to the moon. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay. This one right here. Please don't crash. I didn't save. If you crash, I'll be sad. Don't make me sad. Make me happy that you don't crash. Because we build to the planet with conveyors. And let me go on to the second part of this video, please. <laughs> or we'll just stay here. That's fine, too. <gasps> oh, my God. I was about to break into this land is your land, this land is my land. But no, we don't have to anymore. It's done. This should go all the way since this was another 40 kilometers and we only technically needed roughly 20. So let's go and verify that it went all the way. And... <laughs> Then we can see if we can actually get this thing working. To the moon. I mean, it's not much of a surprise since we already did it. Technically. But it is new knowledge to me. I didn't... I, I wasn't sure if we'd be able to do it with conveyors. Just because they're functional blocks instead of just collision-based things. Okay. So what we'll do here is we're going to cut this off. Right about... A little bit of lag there. Right about here. Sybil? You good? Maybe? No? Is, that, is this going to be the part where it crashes? When we try to split the grid? <laughs> Everything else is fine, but trying to split the grid, the game's like, no. You cannot do this. This is a crime. Come on, game. I didn't save just now. I was dumb. I should have saved. After I said last time I didn't save just now, now I'm here again saying I didn't save just now again. So I didn't learn from my lesson. So it probably serves me right that you're going to crash, but uh, you know what? I repent, game. I repent. I'm sorry. I'll save next time. If you give me this one chance, I'll save the game. Everyone will go home happy. I'll even buy you your own copy of Medieval Engineers. Game. Come on. You know you like a copy of Medieval Engineers. I'll buy you a skin. I'll buy your soundtrack. <laughs> Game, really? Are you just gonna... You gonna do me... How you gonna do me like that? How you gonna do me like that? Really? How you gonna do me like that? I cannot believe... I simply cannot believe... That you would crash on me at this moment. This... My time of need! Oh my god, it actually crashed. <laughs> That's a rip. <laughs> Can we delete this freaking... Okay, last time I tried this one... Let's try one that's up here. This one might be better. And let's be on the ground as well, so it doesn't cause as many computations as making me need to fly. Three, two, one, delete! <laughs> it's not really that hard to do. It's just, all, all you're doing is splitting grids, space engineers. Come on. You can handle this. I believe. I don't rescind any of the offers I sent before. I'll still buy you... I'll buy you a milkshake. No? Come on, Neil, space engineer. You can do this. How sad would it be if this is the end of us? We can't... We can make it all the way to the moon, but we can't split the grid just before. Let's try deleting this block. I bet it's going to crash again, but let's... Well, let's try deleting one that's all the way up here, actually. 
a little bit farther out. Maybe that will be nicer. And then we'll just build all the way down. That's not that far to build. It's okay. This one right here. Let's try deleting this block. If that one deletes, we'll be fine. We'll have to build a little bit, but it's okay. Well, guys, I think it crashed once again. Don't tell me you crashed because I placed one block. Because that, that'd be dumb. You wouldn't crash because of one block, right? Game. I swear to God, if it crashed because of this one block right here. I think it crashed because of this one block! Okay, that makes me sad. Alright, that took ages! Oh my God, I had to actually manually build it the last like five kilometers. That took a long, 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 long time. Okay, well, let's, uh, what we're gonna do now, now that we have our bridge, I mean, we have a little place in the middle that we have to, uh, to solve, but I'd like to build our area here that we, we're gonna use to test. Uh, so let's build a nice small little platform, like that big, maybe. And we'll, you know, we'll make it even as well, build it this way as well, a little bit. We're just gonna, like, kind of, oops, no, 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 no. Cancel. Oh god, did you? Uh, guys, I think I deleted our space bridge. Whoops. Ah, don't worry, that's why you have backup saves in the first place. So we built our base back, everything is good. Got a nice view from the moon, from our nice little <laughs> little moon base here. Uh, okay, so we rebuilt this room as well, which is going to have its nice little uh, vents in here that are going to pressurize it. We've got our moon pressurizing thing, just so that we can test if the moon is pressurizable from the earth. Uh, and then finally we've got our assemblers, so we can test if we can bring materials to and from uh, here. Actually, let's... Let us do that real quick. Let's add a connector there so we can access everything as well. Uh, finally, we need to add a couple of batteries here because the base will not function without them. So let's add some of those. Put those right. Well, we'll put them against the wall. How about that? A couple batteries. That should be fine. Okay, everything is lighting up green, which is good. That means it's good to go. Okay, uh, we actually don't have it connected yet. So let's go back to middle to see if we can connect everything up and make it nice. Aha! The gap! Okay, so you might be wondering what we're planning to do at the gap so that we can bridge this. Uh, so, what we're going to do is we're going to try to make a little ship that can connect to both of these things without completely destroying them. It's not going to be easy, but we're going to try it. So here we go. Let's make our little ship. Alright guys, I didn't want to show you guys me building this because I wanted it to be a little surprise. This thing is going to be awesome. So, well, it's going to be awesome or it's going to die. <laughs> hugely. So essentially what it is is just a, a connector that connects onto this base. And then it goes and connects, I can use these um, these pistons to connect that up to here, which will then allow me to hopefully transfer items from the earth to the moon. We'll see if it works. I don't know if it will. Okay, so let's go, let's zoom out a little bit. We're gonna go down until we're in the area. Okay. We are now, oh God, I forgot about this. Now we have an astrological view, it's astrological. Now we have a far out view of pretty much everything. Unless we're going to first person. We could do first person. That could actually do the trick. Okay. Okay, that's the one we want to do first. So we want to get it in that range. This I feel like this is like using a claw machine. You don't exactly know how far you have to go. Is that as far as you can go? Well, how are we looking? Okay, you went a little bit too far, so bring it back a little bit. Go to here. Uh, number seven. Bring it back just a wee bit. Just a tad. Okay, that should be good right there. Are we good? Probably a little bit more. Well, actually, we can mess with the other ones first. Okay, so we'll, we'll do... Uh, next, we'll do number one. Move this out a little bit. And this one's easy. This one's, like, perfectly aligned for us. Slow it down. A little more. A little more. There we go. That's perfect. Let's uh, bring back number one a little bit. Okay, that's good. And finally, number four to go up. Zzzz. Will the game crash? Or will it just not connect? Well, it's not actually exactly. We need to bring it back a little bit with number eight. So let's go down with number five. Let's bring it over with number eight. And up. Why are you not connecting? Okay, so you're connected. Can I manually connect this one? That's what I want to do. If I grab this. Okay. Okay. There we go. 
connector can I manually connect? Okay. I think we're connected to both. We are. We are connected to both. Does that mean? Okay, let's get back to the moon. Can we access our Earth stuff from here? That's the ship. Earth stuff, Earth stuff, Earth stuff. Is this? Wait. Oxygen tanks. We don't have any oxygen tanks down here. This is the Earth stuff. Okay, so first test. I want to test this first. These two. Nothing's happening. Maybe I need to set it to something. Like, uh, let's take these two air vents and set to depressurize? Or do I have to set to pressurize? Is there a hole? I don't know if it's... <gasps> oh my god! It's working! Take off our take off our helmet. Actually, I don't think we'd take damage anyway because we're because we're in creative mode. But it says O2 high at the bottom, which means it worked. This room is now pressurized. Well, that's one thing debunked. We now know that you can get oxygen from Earth all the way to the moon, even if you have a gap in the middle. That's actually more like two things debunked, because we know we can have a ship now that it acts as a buffer between both bases. Okay, next thing I want to test is these ones. So let's go to air vent three. Four, five, game freeze, five and six. I want to do depressurize. I don't think that's going to do anything, but I'll do this again to see if it pressurizes the moon. I don't think it's going to. Now, the reason I say that is because the moon is so big and <laughs> I don't think. But, okay, technically, if you had an infinite supply of oxygen and you just pumped it into the moon forever, maybe something would happen. But I think as far as the game's concerned, it's trying to put oxygen where there is no closed container, so it's not going to work. The only way it would work is if I made an enclosed enclosed building around the moon, which would probably not be possible considering how hard this was to do. So yeah. But what about this stuff? Can we mine materials from here and then put them, have them refined on Earth and then assembled back on the planet? Let's go into production. We're going to go to... Oh, I need to... Oh my god, I need to put all assemblers in... <laughs> cooperative mode. Good lord. Okay, assembler two, I want you to make me like a billion steel plates. Now it shouldn't... It shouldn't actually be making any of them. It's actually just distributing the work, I think. So let's let it distribute all the work. But it shouldn't be able to make any steel plates. I can check here. Steel plates. Yeah, it's not making any because it has no materials. I was just making sure creative wasn't messing with that. But yeah, it's distributing all of the steel plates there. Let's spawn in some uh, some um, some iron. So we'll go to Shift F10. We'll go to Iron Ore, which is gonna be down here. We're gonna spawn in uh, nine. Uh, oh shoot! I took a screenshot. <laughs> okay, here is our big chunk of twenty thousand iron ore. We're just gonna grab it all. We're just gonna shove it right into this thing right here, which should be connected to the refineries on Earth. And we'll know it works if we start seeing iron. Oh my God! We're already seeing iron. So that does work with very little delay, actually almost no delay. The, the things were immediately brought into the refineries, I presume. So we'll go to refinery. Yep, they were immediately brought into the refineries to be refined. It looks like number one actually hogged all of it. So these refineries have nothing to do, but that's fine. And then they were immediately brought back to the assemblers. We can see that right here. The iron is coming back to all the assemblers, which are then making the steel plates. That is actually amazing. I didn't know if that would be possible. I'm very impressed with that. <laughs> you know, I find it pretty impressive because when we put stuff in here and it's immediately picked up on Earth, technically that stuff's going faster than the speed of light through this tube, through that little midway ship, and then through the other tube all the way back to the materials there and back. <laughs> it's doing that all in like a second, which is insanely impressive. But I think we can finally answer all of our questions here. Um, can you make a continuous... Uh, thing or a continuous I guess we'd say a continuous tether to earth something that can bring materials back and forth yes you can as long as you're willing to have that little gap in the middle can you uh, supply oxygen to a room on the moon with oxygen that was made from earth um, without actually bringing a ship over yes you can do that for sure we just did it uh, can you <laughs> can you pressurize the moon unfortunately no unless you have a mod that does it it just doesn't work very well. And finally, can you mine something on the moon, have it refined on Earth, and then have it assembled back on the moon 
via conveyors. Yes, you can. Very impressively, I might add. Well, that's going to be the end of this episode. I thought I would do it just because we were kind of already in the spirit of going to the moon and stuff. And people were asking like, hey, can you do conveyors and stuff? So I was like, yeah, why not? Let's let's give it a go while we have the idea still fresh in our mind. Uh, but if you liked that video, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions uh, for future Space Busters episodes in the comments section below. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Busters. You know, it's worth noting that my other idea for this little gap would have been to have one of these eject and then the other one use a gravity generator and a, uh, a collector <laughs> to collect materials. Oh my god, I'm glad we didn't have to do that though. This is much more elegant.